giving up a lot of space on our side. So whether or not actually dubstep will be rewarded. There's Nats removed. First piece off the board here. Actually Shados will respond. Yeah, but we'll get the plant though. Wits here is actually going to try and get ahead of the curve here. We'll find a kill as well. Conical will fall. Lovely timing with the drone coming out as well, just working in unison. And Wits is putting on a show already oh. down to Defo and Redgar. Spike is down, but so is the Diffuse coming in halfway. Oh, now achieved. Standing. Jesse on the swing and Redgar, he ain't got nothing to say. Team Seeker are going to get pumped up. And the reason I'm excited and the reason that I'm going to push this above where I normally play, yeah, that's this is so sick. I love this approach. Get proactive, get in their face. Now Nats might be the undoing of this, but he gets checked on. Dubstep with the rifle slice. Obviously, there are a lot of questions around that with some shaky performances, but all that thought for the time being is the wall will be invested here on the Evil Shados over the top first, but Red Car will fall. This is damage. This is a lot of damage. It sure. <laughs> I'm looking is comfortable still finding yeah. Shados. This is down to two. Chronicle and Defo, this would be the rude awakening. This is the danger round to start with, really. But there's Defo trying to kind of keep control, the safe pair of hands. But the rifle still into Spencer's hand. Keep that in the back of your minds. A tap on the spike brings Chronicle in for the swing. Which finds one. Oh my oh, word! Right. They've done it! They've converted the bonus with proactive play, taking space. All the things we outline, Hypoc. This is a Tub step though, instantly gonna pop the knives, head on down towards mid confidence now, starting to boom, and maybe not so rightly so. Defo just swats him out the air, a comfortable pickup for him there. Spike now down, and this is the rude awakening. Welcome to the Iron Giant of Gambit. They don't need the fall by right now, they're happy enough to meet you in this kind of unorthodox play style. So actually a couple of weird head to heads here. Walkoon will fall, but actually Wits gets a better of Nats up in Kitchen here. Could be an opportunity here. 2v4. Again, look for. A way back in here, you're going to find Defo as well, so Shados, got to be careful. Jesse back on his feet now as well. Yeah, but time, it's a huge factor in this. They really need to get going if they want a chance in it, and that's going to be a big denial by Shados. Now down to one, the last two do look a little weaker around the edges, but the time is everything in this matter. Spencer tries to do what he can. Hey. Yes, he'll clean up the frags, but the round will begin. Press the corner at the right time, and actually, again, still being checked on Hasta. Way and Jesse's found Defo. And again, this gives away the game. They've got to know this is either a mid or an A piece because they still have that player pushed up towards B long. And this is beautiful work part. from Team Secret. I can't stress it enough. Nats, yes, does slip the net. He does find one. And there's still fire in the belly. But it is a 3v2. The weaponry's still superior for Gambit as well. Alt now invested too. But Dodset finds Chronicle. And Nats now once again on the island. Gets himself away forward. Finds one. Dips back in. He have noted no way, another. Surely. He's got to know what's going on here. Tries to go for the jump peak. Needs to swing it. The swing ain't good enough. Dubstep finds him. Oh. Near him again for another few rounds. No, they, don't they, need to. Want, they want to leave that paranoia. Oh. Actually, as I say that, Shados will start. find an opening. Jesse falls. And but again, we'll pause for a moment. See if there's any pivot back on oh. side. As Red Garf finds a fantastic kill, though. That's a, that is the gamut you need. Fight as the collective. They managed to dissemble that pretty Fight hefty planted. lean towards eight. That was three. So in terms of now, we're looking at around deficit. Gambit keep five alive. Decent ultimate economy behind it. I don't think back away deep towards the left side of Rafters, at least looking Ooh, that's up different. in dubstep. We'll find this pick again. But Nats was... Wait, he was a bit more proactive this time. Nats was a little... Tube with this wall once again. Wow, okay. Okay, this is where things go different because Nats was pretty much the saving grace of the back line. However, this time, Team Secret hit these rotations a little bit better, a little bit quicker, a little bit more prepared. And Gambit are in pieces! A 6-1! to one. Wow. Uh, Looking if they're aware of these half five plays, they should be aware of this. However, Red Card does at least get one. So that's going to be entryway towards that B site. Now, there are two players who were pushed up, though, towards B long. So this isn't clean. This is a really weird fight to be having. Nats with the overwhelm, though, is good enough to at least shut down the Spencer. This now puts. Okay. Ooh. No pressure on Dubstep, apparently. There we go. Love. It's not out of it yet. It is a 1v3, and they've got some upgrades. Nats with the big one. First contact made. Still a player towards the site, though. And now we found Shados. Will be called upon. But he is, he, he's meant to be made for this, right? But they've read him so well! Like a book. Like a book. They bought the limited edition, the collector's edition. They got all the, the artwork and everything, <laughs> mate. They've got it all. But this isn't enough. They now know everything. Oh, it's no all been way, given man. away! No way. Deep Down. secret! They have read every single secret the Gambit may think they have. Any card up the sleeve has been ripped down as now Defo. The problem is that every round looks like a new set of 
obstacles for Gambit to overcome. Yes. This is the first time Borkum's been called upon on B main. That was he goes huge. He slips underneath the drone there and was re rewarded with two Come kills on. on. Trying to call one constellation, but dubstep is here on that other side. Three heavy lean mid take ultimate down. Depo with a quick dismantling though as two fall in back to back succession as dispenser is now needed and. Un Shados with a re Shados, yeah. peek on that. They look, I'm going to be honest, they look pissed at this. They look they angry. Do. These are tilt peaks. <laughs> These are kind of, that arrogance kind of comes into it in terms of the play style here. Top step, operator on rafters. Let's swing out here. Shados again, still trying to apply the pressure here. We'll find Jesse. Three members left of secret here, and that's two snake bites, but actually Defo will fall here. Shados again will find another. That's up there on the X-ray, and now I think Gambit going to try and slow things yeah. down. But Shados now is fourth on the round, Lord Dubstep. You have to consider saving that operator, but Shados close enough. It could be the ace here. It could be absolutely what the doctor ordered. A quicker address on it, or they play on a heavier retake. Playing in like that towards Gambit is going to give them the gateway to open up to the kingdom. Chronicle with a quick one towards Dubstep as well. This is looking very likely as Shados is going to be feeling confident enough to lean a bit further forward. Make those audio cues and then fall away just a touch. Spike going to be planted, really chasing. Walkers are way closer than you'd hope. Actually, somebody trying to hold on to his operator, but he's not checked upon. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. Genius. But this is where you expect now. So they've really had is Chronicle and I guess Shados in, in that regard. Now with the ult invested, that does change the dynamic. They need to kind of invest. Oh in no way! They find that they have. Oh, dubstep from up above. Rains hell upon Devo, and now the spike's been denied, at least for the plant. Dispenser plays back in, and they've come and found the pace they needed. Witz holds his nerve, and it's Chronicle all down to you now. What are you going for us? There's fire in Gambit, but Team Secret, they lead on the heart. Which isn't a conversation I thought we'd be having, Lauren. To the most within our region <laughs> in, in terms of expectations. All so. right. Well, look. The oh, attack as well. Dispenser is going to throw up the wall here. It's going to split Defo away. Ooh! Again, actually, Defo finds both here. Down. He's find a third. He's going to re-explore towards the B main. Actually, will find it. Yeah, this man's on a mission. And if it ain't going to be Shade, it'll be him. Defo is still going to be doing what he can. He's got the boys by his side. Do they overdo standing. this? No, not for now. It is just dubstep. Left in, what, a 1v3 spike? down basically in Narnia. He's going to have to find a wardrobe to just jump through or something at this point. And already the Aldrone. Can he dip around it? Let's see if he can do some dodge. Yes, beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> ah, there we go. It was, it was a lovely attempt. And now there's a whole lot of players looking your way. Gambit strike back. Ooh. Heck, this is dangerous. Nats rotation, so cautious that Secret were spread a little thin here, but dubstep. Find Redgar as well. Again, at this point, just look for Gambit to do some damage. Move some of these weapons. It's all rifles. If they can do something to do that, that'd be uh, pretty dreamy at this point. Obviously, you're looking for normally like three to kind of force that reinvestment to be a little bit more laboured. But at this point, you'll take anything you can get. For now, tap on the spike as the beginner. No one massively swinging off the back. They can kind of maybe hazard a guess that that's not going to be stuck at this point. Dubstep waits. There it is. There's one in unison with the other. Maybe didn't need that overstep there. But the fight, and they're going to just. Holter for a oh. second takes one, backs it, but it's Wits with the trade. That's now up, lost in the sight as well. Shados, he's actually going to spin up towards heaven. He wants to get there quick, but there's a player lingering just down below. He's going to take that space and take sight control. Spike should be able to be planted. I don't think anything's going to deny that now. And now we're in the post plant. Actually, you've got two members of Gambit actually walking towards the back lines here. Redgar and Nats. Potentially challenged Dubstep in his position, but he finds the first headshot now. Redgar solo HP. Look at the damage on him. Dubstep did so much on the first peak. The second almost felt like it's a done. given. To us. Mate, we can do him too. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, and the difference being, uh, again, it's that double duelist set up on the side of Gambit. So it's wait, 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 wait. They've lost both the oh, rifles. Okay. A little bit too overzealous, but right now he is needed. But again, though, the adjustment here. Redgar's here to kind of slow down these uh -oh. these hits from Secret, but look it's at not going to do anything. Oh, Shados and Redgar fall immediately. Michael, what are you doing? Oh, okay, he's doing that. Takes one and now slips away into the night. Tries to back away and not overstep. I got a little worried. If he was on his own trying to make moves, but the spike's going down. Can't deny it. And now into the post plant 3v3. Spencer here. Come on, have a little peek through and actually we'll find it. Uh, Secret are just hitting everything right now.
Therefore, on the way back in, we'll find Wits. A 2v2 presented here. Nats on the drop down. Clears below, but not completely. Does find Spencer. Tries to find the next step, but Jesse playing to just deny this step out. Does spot at least one. Finds Steph and now, now, now knows what's up. Again, get your gun out, Jesse. Here no we way, go. Man. 12 on the board. Team Secret. I'm ready. I'm all aboard the Team Secret train. Let's get going. Dubstep, Dispenser. They've, they've all played their game. They're bone idle, the they're buy. trying things. Look at the buy, it's it's absolute garbage and already it's gonna be crossing the Viper's pit now. Reactionary ultimate potential here if we can find the first kill. 30 seconds left. Let's see here if he's checked the bottom. Welcome to my world. Ultimate bested. Shados on top, gets a fight, loses it. Dubstep gets him. That's We're down to three. Uh... <laughs> Spike goes in. First fight comes out, Nat's gonna pick up the pace, gonna pick up two bodies on the way as well, but loses his life. Rez now invested as well, coming out from Dispenser, gonna get that Viper back on their feet, but now we do have a little bit of a scrappy battle to say the least. Defo and Redgar, what can you do though to break those back lines to get back into this one? That spike is ticking away as Redgar gonna lean a little further forward. Does isolate Dispenser, forces the swing out of one. Trade comes out, it's gonna be down to just Jesse again, up against Defo, but the spike, the time is still so favorable here towards Secret. Time being born. Players being toyed with Jesse. All he's got to do is play this correctly. Backs away, buys some time. That's he's it. breaking Defo's heart. He can't do anything about it. He knows it's done. Give it up, game one, map one. It's up though, not fall away, not slip back, not allow a moment or a second of doubt, but already initial exchange through middle. And this is death matchy between the two, and it is going to be taking chunks out of each other. Losing our wits, though, might take away a little bit of that instigation, oh, yeah, ability to maybe find information later down the line, but already it's going to be this B piece. They've got to know that a mile away. So Spike should be going down now. Not going to be denied at this point. A little bit of chip damage on the way out for Redgar. Yeah, actually, Conical did find dubstep as well. That was after that turret was dropped. Now Borku, drifting through elbow. He'll look towards him to remove that piece from B main here as Jesse. A real entryway back Standing here at Conical still. Stand strong, we'll find his second now. Spencer solo HP. Remain. Yes. Something as well, I can hear it behind me. Gambit trying to get themselves fired up. They're, they're yes. yelling off the pistol rounds. They want to get this one building, and already Defo going to start off with that pick towards Dubstep, and Shados going to take a little bit of a step further down towards Tube. Going to clean up Jesse and Wits on route. Much done here with the classic. Uh, Needs to make its way through, but they haven't really gotten that pick on the way into sight, so this is still pretty rough Whoa. around the edge of Dispenser, Whoa. connecting out of nowhere. Nats gets beheaded, and now the Spike has made its way through. Flash comes in, Spike goes down, and Dispenser needs to be careful. 7 HP needs some backup now. Jesse, yeah. Oh. Quite no man's land there, Defo and Redgar both fine kills. Dubstep will respond with two, though. One man, oh, gets pinched on, though, with Shados right yeah. there, and you had the window player as well. Tricky to work out from in a 2v2 post plant though. Michael still stands back towards the side. Gambit have woken the beast, right? They've forced Gambit to maybe play some of these switch ups, the pace changes that maybe they were looking to bring out later in the tournament, maybe feeling they could get through groups playing as expected, but that's not the case. They've had to bring out a higher level of planned approach, and that's looking sharp as ever. We do have just sheriffs and some light armor though, so again, this isn't the be all and end all. Wits, let's see what you can do with this. That's lovely. And look at the lean. It's a 4 1 coming out at this point from Secret. They've had to sit towards this side. Three dedicated towards the side, and it is Dubstep who's had to respect that utility and presence down tube. However, Defo does find Dispenser. Wits is now going to be taken away. This is not looking so good for Secret. This is methodical from Gambit. This is the Iron Giant we've been seeing. Although well, Gambit even given the opportunity to find one, that's it. Defo will swing through. That's good for him. This level and a gambit right now. Dubstep unable to find much here. That's Shados with a belting star. Defo has already started his proposition towards the site. Chasing him down. There it is. And Defo, yeah, calm, beast up. This is again, though, a poor purchase because the money, well, it's just been ripped away. Look how clean these Yeah, Dubstep forced off that attempt at least. God, look at the pressure on him. Yeah. It's the dart at the start, it's the flash on the back, it's everything poured down. Oh, yeah. Defo Mid. just puts his body on the line and this is brutal down middle. Yes, a little bit of a trade finally goes in. Is Gambit getting to sight because this Viper Spear makes it so difficult for Secret to fight back in. But Dispenser's holding decent sight control. 
remains. That's huge. Finding Chronicle on the way out is massive, but eight seconds. What do you do with it? Nat's still alive on the side. Gets bought some time. Alt now invested. They know where Nat's is. The spray comes through. They're trying to do everything they can. Lockdown's removed, and so is his safety net. Invests the utility, hoping to buy some time for himself. A the freedom, a 1v1, and he gets it. Utility towards the side, gonna burn away. There's nothing more to be done. That's him so well prepared on that one and made it something other than this. 7 0 so far. Gambit gonna make themselves look a little more prepared in these scenarios, a little bit more well versed in this. And as I said, the purchase is phenomenal in comparison to a bit of a shaky buy coming out from Secret. Maybe there's a little life in this round. Maybe a little bit of a buffer could be made out of this half. But Nat's still trying to find that timing in the middle. Can he get in there in time? No. Has to respect it for now. But a 1-point trade out towards the site leaves Nat's uh, in a 1v2. Gonna find one, but the one player is so close, just below him. Walken's waiting patiently. He wants to push up on this. He wants to get the fight, and Nat's does not. Swing out towards double doors. Yeah. I've got your oh, but it's shut down. Gone. Chronicle has been huge in this position in bottom mid. There, there's a little bit of a trade finally coming out from this. Might be able to juggle those weapons away if you want to still give options. No but already Gambit on the site. Spikes there too. Dispenser just bodied by Shados. And it's, yes, a little bit of a, you know, initial fight in middle. But there's a quick of problems. One being Defo. Doggo ain't going to spot it. And that's a victim waiting. Defo catches with both hands. Comfy there. Brings it to the chest. Is now already wit. Going to be put to it. Nice work on the first. But the trade out comes in. So now all on his lonesome in a 1v3. And there's not. Yeah. Another plan before 115. <laughs> hey, look, if anything, other teams are going to be looking at this going. <laughs> well, you, you say that. Again, how much is this now going to become the go to standard for Gambit on Breeze? Yep. How much do you read into this? Yeah, is this their whole new look? Oh. Is there something else? Yes, he's still going to do some good work there towards Shados, but Shados just wall to wall. So I feel as though you can kind of tell the mentality is confidence of plenty for Gambit when you're 9 0 up. Let's see if there's any legs to this retake. Dumpstep. A little bit better equipped, but Chronicle Ooh. is spicy today, and it's looking easy work for Gambit this time. Double digits down the board. Ten. On B side, they have the drone, they have the dog. Clears out the tripwire. Again, he's on an island right now. And actually, unable to play his life here. It's, it's four players putting all their utility towards you. Every piece of pressure, you have nowhere to sit back towards. It's very difficult to deal with. Ultimates have cycled through well enough as well for Gambit. Um, if I'm secret, and I know this isn't the mentality that people like to consider, but I'm thinking about map three pretty soon. As ten, I was thinking about map three four rounds ago. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. just with the way this one got off to a start. Yeah, it's it, sometimes the cleaner losses are easier to. Yeah, you can already see Chronicle looking to hunt. Actually, nearly finding the time in here. We'll actually still find the kill oh, and gone. remove that operator. Jesse now Oof. with the finisher. However. See if the approach still works on this side. Dubstep does actually greet Defo this time. Finally, an initial trade and no answer back instantaneously. This is a good beginning. But look at the answer from Gambit. It is tight. Gambit going to have full access here. No more charges left. Spencer has at least got himself here at the right time, but he's kind of missed that window where maybe. First fight as well with Shados joining him towards CT. Spencer does at least take one, but it's a quick. Switching side. Have been woken Next up here, Hypok. Yeah, they have. Uh, it's the case of if you poke the beast. Uh, Shados pinged on the minimap now, but no entry found, and Defo's actually going to be the one to draw first blood. Well, actually, Witch is going to force his way all the way through here. I don't think Shados is going to know this, but he still wins it. Uh, and, and again, that door's getting shut in their face at the moment. Three still standing. They haven't been able to really do much damage just yet. A little bit of play up middle, but Defo still... How is he winning these fights? It is just Jesse, and it's all on Jesse. In a 1v3, it's done. It is the... Is something to admire. So I'd say nearly caught off guard there, but will be able to escape away. But Borkum will find Defo. And actually, Chronicle as well on the back of that. A little yeah, bit of so a bait far, there. This is... Yeah, this is actually going really well. Gambit are kind of struggling to break back in on this. All trades effective and all going Secret's way. Maybe a reminder, a confidence builder here for Secret after a pretty rough remaining. map two. And yeah, it's down to Shados. And there it goes. Lovely work from Secret and the boys are out. A little bit of a crunch towards showers here. Oh, we are getting the dubstep POV though, that's nice. Fans around the world will be loving it. Uh, Nats and Chronicle last we alive. Luckily, however, for those playing along at home, if you aren't just a fan of the dubstep cam, it does mean as though that there's only two. So, Nats and Chronicle, what can you do out of this one? 
Triceratops it does make his way Last into the side. Nats and Chronicle have actually found Players two. Standing. And now the 1v1. I the spike. Don't step up against Chronicle. The spike has been retrieved. The massacre in the showers has gone down. Dubs are actually going to play forward into this. Chronicle, it's not, he's not like he's going to be surprised by this, though. Look at him holding this angle, and patience pays Eesh. off. Chronicle showing presence across the map. Realism's though short is going to be the destination. Nat's going to be doing what Nat's does best, but let's see if he's been red, and he has been. Jesse, well positioned, prepared to receive. Does get at left. least the visual confirmation of that player so close by. Seekers did come through as well, just kind of chasing down the final player, so everyone from Seeker is in the right place at the right time. Here is he shade off towards the shower, gonna find Borkum, but now it's everyone else who's still alive. Jesse still stands and Dubstep still stands. Seekers on the other side now come through, gonna try and isolate, but Jesse finds Chronicle off that spike. Now what more can be done in this though? That off on the way back in is gonna be tricky on the retake. Really looking for Jesse to get something done here as he comes under pressure. Shados again stuck in this corner until that flash comes back on. Another couple of seconds on that, but Secret making the most of the time here. That's lovely work from him, still bringing that up to bear, finding Redgar now Shados. Flash is there, it's not ideal, that's going to be a halfway to fuse. The swing, it's not enough, Jesse! The cornerstone so far for Seeker. ...invested to address Nat. That is literally a counterplay there. Ooh, Jesse! The one person we're talking about, Jesse's going to find him with that. On the spike, draws out further utility, but look at the time, down to 20 seconds. And look at the players smothering from every side. A quick TP taken. That's going to be the spike towards the other side now. A couple of other players join in. And Shadon tries to catch one of the heels. Oh, what? my word, how's he alive? And the double dip comes back out from left. the Astra fighting Shados. Redgar and Chronicle now put to work. Ult is online for Chronicle. What can you do with that, though? Okay, he's stuck on site, not really any possibility. Borkum, check it. Borkum. I see the both fine oh. kills. Chronicle finds another one. No way, Redgar. Oh, dispenser well handled. Again, they are maintaining. We saw from Icebox. Straight away here, different story to secret. But does not turn away from the pressure mounting towards long. He's got backup as well. Jesse's by his side. Defo goes down. And more start to pour forward and dubstep is down doing it to team. him. And this Last is Team Secret standing. looking strong right. The Astra's starting to work the way. No, where he is and where he isn't. Yes, he can be a problem, but for 10 seconds he gets shut Beautiful. down. They at least have a heftier buy behind it, but dubstep's still Five finding points. success here. Shuts down Chronicle, so keeps that line safe. Chows is That's still under control, and look at them tucked in here. Gambit trying to find some bit of safety, Wit still wins out as well. Red Gar now found down to three. Defo, Nats, and Shados, what can you do with this one now? You're being surrounded all fronts, KJ Ult has come in. The eviction notice now posted, Nats going to try and find his way out, denies the ult, swings it! Oh, Nats! Nats out of nowhere, three huge kills! But it's still a 2v3, it ain't over yet, Wit, can you do it? He's found the first step of 2v2, but time! is starting to play a factor in Nats. He's slowly working his way around. He's got another. Nats has done oh, it all! My already preemptively stacked up and he's going to be rewarded for it. Absolutely. Look at this now. And it's, again, it's both extremities, Lauren. It's exactly what you were talking about. There is at least a trade back, so it's not all for nothing. And he can turn his attention back to this short hit coming in. That's being part of it. Borkum's in trouble now. He's going to have so much attention his way. Too much to handle as Chronicle does find him. In these slow rounds, we know they're going to ultimately push and pull in terms of the pressure across the map. See, Jesse, he take the TP. Even he's followed, he will get followed there. And again, they will remove the showers. So, close up here. And actually, happy to go all the way out here with no. Dispenser. Actually get yeah, damage onto him. Walkum almost bailed out. That's Tris Jesse will find a response onto Nats as well. Jesse always seems good for one without all. He's been getting a couple of connections, but there's the answer right back. It's going to be great to force him it. away. One enemy remains. Now they can that. indeed Five catch him, eight. as now Shados is your last one alive. 50 seconds, Spike basically as far away as possible, and there's the answer. Jesse is your man to do. Showers, the Cosmic Divide invested. Actually, the lockdown in response here. <laughs> That's a tilting way to die. Yeah, and there come the ults as well. Gambit, though, going to just crush in towards the backside of the tube on that kind of L-bend corner. Shados, that was not pretty. Wits out, does you? And the lockdown does get denied, and there's a 4v3, but Spike is planted, and Wits... <sighs> going to have to do something with this. Jesse expecting that flank. He's right to be feeling as such, but Defo's holding the line. Jesse's timing's going to have to be perfect. It's not. Redgar out, does him, and Gambit finding... Based on just the scoreboard, seeing that ultimate being available, I think they, they understand. The kind of right read, I guess you could call it. And 
there comes the attempt of a punish and actually does catch Finds one of them. This is going to be Jesse towards Black CT. Man. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Gun barrels noted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lovely shot from Jesse. Long presence now. 30 seconds left. Found at this point, Jesse. Oh, more, more would have been perfect, but it's dumb step to find it. Gets Defo, looks towards Long, can't get him. Shados on the trade out and now into a 2v2. TP taken. Spike down left. Flash is going to connect. Oh, but it connects on both sides. Blinded as Redgar now in the 1v2. And that spike is. Oh, no way, Redgar! Oh, my God, Redgar! <laughs> Just when you think, Secret, Such and again, they have no business of making that round as close. Real utility invested on the side of Secret in terms of the early round, though. So they can peel away, which is what we see them doing here. That a site. You're on through. Defo going to try and catch the cross, but gets the information. Chronicle down low. Going to have to try and deal with the pressure, even though he's the walking wounded. Defo still stands his ground, and he actually loses his life for it. Red Guard going to be called upon. TP now taken, and away we go towards that B site. They've actually managed to do this properly. They've really drawn yeah. Gambit through a loop. Dr. Batsy will stay inside the TP. We'll get traded out, but now actually Gambit presented a 2v3. Flash to play with, but there's an element and they're trying to buy it. And here we go. Going to block off Leaf from one side, try and flash through the other. They're on towards the side. Nats finds one. He needs more. He knows where they reside. He knows where they're hiding from him. But it's the spike that's going to be the problem. And it's all down to one. Maybe there's life for them yet. Spray no wildly. He's got Nats. Down, but now the 1v1, the defuse. Oh, he's kept control. Do what Nats does. Tuck in somewhere. That's exactly okay, it. Well. That is literally, that, isn't that just like the most perfect summary of Nats? Still good for one at the very least. I think, again, with the focus on not wanting 30 seconds left. to give away that weapon there, dubstep actually finds the open here. Red Guard will fall. Nats will respond, though. And Secret, gotta be careful here. Blind drone. Getting worked down. They're being just chipped away at dubstep. So we're gonna try and keep CT safe. Spots it. Just a pixel out of place is enough to keep the attention drawn. And uh oh, okay. Depo's found dubstep. We're down to two. Jesse still left loose. Position noted on towards the side. This is getting dangerous. Jesse trying to deal with that player coming through hooker. But it's gonna be just down to one. Borkum, can you do this? Can you keep your team safe? Switch out to the pistol. It's getting closed in on Defo. Leaping forward! And Defo! Doing so much work in Gambit! Redgar's gonna get impatient, but it's Chronicle to get the first contact and makes light work of Wits. And layer of that, is there more to this? Is there something else to be seen here coming out from Secret? Because I hope so. Because as it stands, this is not looking good. This is light work for Gambit as it stands. If this is how it keeps going forward, Dubstep individually works forward. There's nothing to write home about. There's Dispenser. He's on B site. How deep are we going to walk on this? Defo. And yeah, we, we're getting aggressive, but Dubstep is right there. This is going to be a lot of players. He jumps the corner. It's not great. Nats punishes two. This is looking like they're losing. Secret is just going to allow this, the clock to run down. Ooh. Actually, just catches a glimpse here, but Chronicle posted up, and actually, Good pick. yeah, Defo will and be found suspense on the other side. This is really nice. They've done the push and pull on either side. TP can be taken. They decide to sit towards that A site. Maybe knowing where Chronicle is is better. Left. I guess better the devil you know, right? And away we go towards the A site. Fight is so integral, and it could have been something. 20 seconds. Alt now invested. Dispenser, what can you do here? Can you do anything to save your side? A tag taken. And now the 1v2, Nat is in the back lines, and of course he will be the one to take them towards 12. And this could be the downfall of Secret and Gam. Wait for a double swing. Wait for a double swing. But now we talk composure. Now we talk yes. experience on Secret here, but you question the utility behind it. I've got Batty Defo will find Warcoom as well, so that's the smoke removed here. We'll try and cut through the defense here of Gambit. Dubstep will actually find Chronicle. Makes it interesting now. It does, but it does force Defo's hand, and for now it's looking pretty deadly. Gonna try and get away from the KJ. Try and move himself around a little here. Red Goss found a Spencer. This is now looking problematic. Good work comes on in as it's just dubstep now left in a 1v3 with it all on his shoulders. And it's gonna be an uphill battle. He's been shot in the back by 